hey guys welcome back today in this video i'll explain you what is dot env file okay so actually what happened is in the first video of mine uh, which was a deployment of mern development uh, i had explained you how to deploy a mern project right so in that time uh, i got a comment actually or uh, many messages on the linkedin also to explain what is dot env file and they were getting some kind of error and all uh, while accessing that so today i'll be explaining that thing uh, everything okay uh, basically from setup and everything i'll be showing the uh, live here okay uh, so anyways uh, we just start the video okay so first of all what we have to do is i'm writing i'm in a vs code and i open my project here uh, this is nothing the simple project by the way uh, i'm inside the back end folder now okay so since we are in a root folder now we have to get inside the back end uh, so for that cd back end and i'll install here npm i dot env okay uh, so wait i'll just wait until it can install okay so this got installed okay so basically this is a package uh, where you can hide your credentials like username password so for example this is a mongodb cluster link right uh, so i don't want to publish this one uh, in github so i in order to hide these things i will be using this one dot uh, env okay uh, this is actually useful when you are using like in the industries and all uh, in your local projects it's fine because uh, your github repository is actually uh, not at a certain level it's a safe itself but still uh, if you are working in the industries and all uh, you should know these things and all okay so anyways so after the installation of this one we have to uh, import that file package okay to import that one our uh, usual ones const sorry uh, we can const.env you can do like this one so uh, but the easiest thing here you can do is uh, you can directly require and config that one okay so you just call this one and dot env okay then after that we need to config this file okay so yeah this much only uh, we don't now no need to uh, require the dot env and again we have to have app dot use everything has been uh, done in a single line only okay so this is a way by the way okay so after that now we have to create a fold file here which will be dot env itself not a dot in fact dot env okay uh, you can see the symbol here uh, for the pack for this one i'm using here extension so that's why i'm getting the proper uh, symbol also okay so anyways after that uh, now in my project i want to for example i want to hide my cluster link okay so for that one what i'll be doing here is i'll just type anything like mongo db okay then after equals to then i'll just copy this one copy and i'll just paste that here okay without string i'll remove this uh, after that now we have copied that thing in here okay after that now i'll just remove this one including the string we know we don't need string anymore here so in place of that we will be writing here process dot env okay dot then whatever the name you had given here right i have given here mongodb so i'll just copy that thing and i'll paste it here okay now i have pasted here now for, i'll just show you by starting the server sorry you can see my uh, database will be connected okay i'm inside outside cd okay you can see my app is running and the dp is also connected you can see that message here right so this is actually nothing but a strict error uh, you can just hide or, or ignore that one or if you want to uh, remove that one then you can just copy this whole thing and paste it here okay now it will be gone fine okay now this was the example for the dot uh, env okay so you can do that one uh, not just for the cluster we can do for the port also then even in the uh, for example if you are using the jwt tokens we have to provide a secret key right so there also we can use this process dot uh, sorry dot env file uh, 
okay so i'll do the same thing for port also here and i'll make the same changes here uh, we don't need this anymore and in place of this one same process dot env dot port okay now i have to give here okay you can see here app is running on port number 8000 which i haven't written here you can see here i'm directly accessing that from our dot en file okay okay perfect now the issue is okay now we have added this dot en file okay now if i upload this one or if i push this one it uh, this dot env file will also be pushed to our github then what is the use of using this one right so for that one we have to create another file which is nothing but a dot git ignore okay in this file uh, basically this is a file where you want to uh, in, in the first video i had explained what is this file still i'll be explaining here again uh, this is the file where you want don't want to share your folders and files okay uh, this is the files where you don't want to share any kinds of credentials understand the difference okay uh, yeah so this is the file where you don't want to share any kind of files and folder for example obviously this node modules this is a large file right uh yeah i can see the size here anyways i don't want to share this file in my github so what i have to do is i'll just write the name here of that folder name okay okay like this only you can hide this dot env file also the same thing we need to just type the file or folder name dot env okay now we have, by doing this one our both files will be uh, hidden inside this dot ignore file uh, when someone just opens your dot git dot git ignore he will understand you have hidden these two files but he can't access those files okay uh, so yeah this is actually a useful and important thing uh, and even sometimes interviewer will be asking oh, what is this dot env okay how to hide the credentials and all uh, so i believe this was a useful one for you uh, so that if you have any kind of a uh, doubt regarding this you can just let me know in the comment section or you can as usual you can just uh, dm me through the linkedin okay so anyways guys thank you for the watching video uh, if you have any suggestion for the upcoming videos or you can just let me know uh, i'll be working on that okay so yeah thank you